Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Happy Vlogmas Day 13. Anyway, for today's video I wanted to bring to you guys a super easy and simple makeup look. I don't know about anybody watching my video, but for the holidays I normally go to my family's house. So I'm not really um, going all out with the makeup. And I just want to share a very easy, neutral makeup look with you guys that could be perfect for any holiday event that you have. I'm just going to go ahead and prime my face. And I really want to do this like chit chat style, but I don't want it to be too long. I've actually never done a chit chat like makeup um, tutorial. I always just do like a voiceover. But since it's a vlogmas... And technically I probably should be vlogging. I thought maybe if I chit-chatted. I'm not going to chit-chat the whole way. I will speed up certain parts and certain sections and stuff like that. Because who really wants to listen to me talk for who knows how long. Um, I do want to do a chit-chat and just talk a little. Let you guys get to know me. What's going on in my brain. And all that amazingness so um, I always start with my brows and my eyes first um, just in case there's any fallout I don't want it to fall on my foundation so that's what I'm gonna go ahead and start with now so for brows I always use my NYX micro brow pencil it has never steered me wrong and I always pair that with my NYX control freak eyebrow gel <laughs> Alright, so once we've done our eyebrows, we're going to go ahead and start with our eyes. We're going to go with very neutral colors. Like I said, this look is meant to be simple, easy, and go with any kind of, any kind of, my god, any color lip that you decide to do. So we're going to be using our Carly, Carly, our Carly Bible um, Deluxe Edition palette. I love this palette. I love all the neutrals and warm tones in here. I'm such a warm tone kind of girl. So yeah. So starting off, we're going to cover our um, lid all the way up to under our eyebrow with this color right here in the top left corner. And that I like to use just because my eyes are so dark. I like to start with a light color just to brighten it up. Honestly, I don't know why my R's, my R's, Honestly, I don't know why my eyes are so dark, but they've always been like this. And I'm just going to be using my Real Techniques Instapop Shade Brush. Any flat brush will do. You don't have to use the brush that I'm using. But just a light one just to pack it on and kind of set the concealer that I blended down from the eyebrows. So I honestly did not even finish my Christmas shopping. I still have a people, a, a people, a few people left on my list. So then I'm gonna go with this um, brown glitter shade that's barely holding on for its life. As you can see, I love it. And that I just like to put on the outer V just to darken it up a bit. And you're gonna use another flat, compact brush. And I'm actually gonna be using my Real Techniques Detailer Brush. Honestly, all my brushes are from Real Techniques and I love them. They're so affordable, but they really get the job done. So I'm just going to pack it on to the outer V. Nothing crazy. And it doesn't have to be neat. And bring it up to your crease, but don't put it into the crease. Just bring it up to there. Um, okay, and then I always love to go with a brown in the crease So whenever I'm going for something more neutral I always go with like a brown which you can see is also holding on for its life in the crease And with that I use a little bit more of a fluffier brush. So I'm gonna be using my base shadow brush and I just put a little bit on there And I just put it in the crease. I know it looks messy now, but once we blend it all out it will look beautifully seamless so I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, circle motions and shit. I do like to put um, 
a color here on the lid. The lighter color is really just to start as a base. Like I said, my eyelids are super dark. I just don't understand why. But I have to put, you know, even more eyeshadow than a normal human being. And I think since we're sticking neutral, I'm going to go... Honestly, I'm using all the colors that I normally would use anyway. I'm going to go with this orange that is in the middle middle the middle of the palette and I'm just gonna pack that on there doesn't have to be perfect because like I said we're gonna go and blend all this out but just to brighten it up a little bit and not look so gray gray and now that everything is packed on super messy and crazy I'm gonna go in with my deluxe crease brush and it's just a big fluffy brush it's kind of fluffy but kind of like tapered at the same time I'm just gonna blend everything out one color one color one color on top of the other it doesn't matter just go with the flow and I like to start over here because I don't want it to be too harsh and then go over the lid a little bit and that's just like a sweeping motion I do I do put eyeshadow on my lower lash line. I don't go too crazy. So the only two colors that I ever really use on the lower lash line is the dark brown, the glittery dark brown that I use in my outer V and the brown that I use in my crease. Then you do it on this eye as well. I don't know where I saw this a long time ago. But I don't bring it all the way to the inner corner of my eye. And then back with the same fluffy brush that you used for the crease you're just gonna buff that out I'm gonna go with this highlighter color over here and I'm just gonna highlight under my brows while I'm already here and for that I just use my accent brush from Real Techniques it's really tiny and I just love how even though it's like the tiniest little brush the highlight that comes on is amazing where the highlighter and the eyeshadow meet I'm just going to buff it out so it looks really seamless no harsh lines looks like everything's flowing so once the eyes are complete we're gonna go ahead with the face I'm gonna keep the chit chat to a minimum so I can really speed through that but I think this is such a nice neutral eye browns go with literally any lip color so you don't have to worry about that all right so the first thing we're gonna do is conceal and I use two concealers like I said my eyelids under my eyes are really dark so I always go in with my MAC um, Studio Finish Concealer in the color NW35 and then I top it off with my um, Tarte Shape Tape in the color Deep. This is a little bit light, this is a little bit dark, so combined together I think it gives me um, the perfect concealer shade really. And I just conceal with this old, old, old Essence of Beauty um, concealer brush. Honestly, I love it. I don't care that it's not like some fancy name brand. It's so precise and tapered. And see right here, this is exactly why I wait um, till after I'm done with my eyeshadow and stuff to do my concealer because then I can just clean it up, sharpen it up, and make it look like I'm out here being a professional when really I'm just regular degula. So now that that's kind of blended out, we're going to go in with the Tarte Shape Tape and do the exact same thing. So now we're going to move on to foundation. I've been using the L'Oreal True Match um, in the color Warm Caramel Beige. Anybody planning a wedding knows that in the beginning it's not really much to update on. Like to be realistic, I'm getting married in 2020, so I haven't really done that much. But I will have one up. It'll be short and sweet because so far all we have chosen is the place, which I am so excited about. Honestly, um, I'm not going to go too much into it because then that would make no sense in filming um, a wedding update video. And I just want to know, do you guys want to see it by myself? Do you want my fiancé in it? I've really been trying to incorporate him in all the planning. I truly believe it's not just my day, it's our day. And let's just blend this out. So now I'm gonna go ahead and contour. I'm still using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. 
Um, I've been meaning to try something else. I really want to try the Kat Von D Shade and Light, but then my friend was like, oh, it's a little bit gray toned. I don't know if you would like that, blah, blah, blah. So I don't know. All right, so after I've done that, I go ahead and I highlight first and then blush. For my nose and my cupid's bow, I use the tiny brush that I use under my eyebrow. And for my face, I use a setting brush. I don't really like the fan brush. I bought one, ended up returning it. This is what I like to highlight with. And of course, I like the seamless look, so Beauty Blender's coming in to blend that all out. Hey! All right, and then I'm going to go in with blush. Um, for blush, I'm going in with MAC Peaches. This is honestly the best, best blush you will ever use in your life. I literally don't own any other blushes but this right here. I'm not lying. And I always apply blush to the tip of my nose. I don't know why. I don't know why. Okay, so we're pretty much done with the whole face and the eyes. And this is when I like to spray my um, setting spray, which of course is Urban Decay All Nighter. And once I'm done, once I'm done spraying, I like to go back with my Beauty Blender and just push everything into the skin and make it nice and seamless and make sure it's going to last all night. <laughs> now, I'm not going to film myself putting on mascara. It's as easy as like waking up in the morning, um, but I'm going to let you guys know what I'm using and in the order that I use it in. So I start off with the L'Oreal Palace L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Base Primer. Then I go in with the Voluminous False Fiber Lashes, also from L'Oreal Paris. And then I go in with the Voluminous Million Lashes. And then to top it off, I go back to the um, False Fiber Lashes. So now that we have our mascara on, the last thing to do is apply a lip color. Like I said, this look can go with any lip color. Honestly, I don't know what lip color I'm going to do today, but since it's not the holiday yet I think I'm gonna do a neutral color for today because then I'm gonna step out like this and it's literally like 12 o'clock in the afternoon so I'm gonna go with a more neutral color but like I said you can pair this look with any lip color that you're trying to go for um, so if you are going to your family members house you can go with more neutral color and if you're going to a um, holiday party or something like that then maybe you'll put something more daring on like a red lip or a burgundy lip or um, I've seen a lot of people do a black lip lately for the holiday. I think that's kind of awesome. But I think I'm going to go with something neutral and something everyday. And of course that is going to be Velvet Teddy from MAC. And I'm going to pair it with my number one liner that is literally holding on for dear life. And that is the lip pencil in the color Cork. Fun fact about me actually... Um, when I started getting into like foundation, full face makeup and contour and stuff like that, I was super self-conscious about wearing like lipstick. I felt like my lips were way too big to wear any other color than like these neutral colors. And, um, I don't know, I guess it was like growing up, like, you know, kids made fun of me because my lips have always been big. Um, but it's so crazy how now like lipstick and stuff like that is like my favorite thing to put on like i can't even lie honestly this is the best part for me when doing makeup is putting on that lip color because i feel like it's like the icing on the cake and like the finish and like the finished touch of the look So that's it for today's makeup look. Something super neutral to go with any lip color or any outfit you have planned for this holiday season. So let me know if you like these kinds of videos. I can definitely film more for you guys if you enjoyed watching this one today. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a beat. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.